Chapter three, section two for trig. Just gonna talk about arc length and area of a sector. So a little bit of geometry mixed in with the trig stuff that we know. Arc length of a circle, the length S of the arc is equal, the length S of the arc intercepted on a circle of the radius R by a central angle of measure theta in radians is given by the product of the radius and the radian of the angle. So technically, in easy terms, S equals R theta. And make sure your theta is in radians. So with this, with example one, we want to find the arc length. So to find the arc length, we already have an angle that's in radians, so we need to find S. S represents your arc length. So S is going to equal, and in this case our radius is equaling 18.2 centimeters. So S is going to equal 18.2 times 3 pi over 8. From there, it's all calculator work. So here, I'm gonna put 18.2 in the calculator times that three pi to get 171.5, and we're gonna divide it by eight. And you get 21.44 centimeters. So S equals 21.44 centimeters. Since radians are technically not a unit of measurement like inches and feet, they kind of just disappear on their own. So that's why your final arc length is a length, so it has to be in centimeters. This time, 144 degrees is not in radians. So just like last section, we have to multiply by pi over 180. which ends up being four pi over five. I then am gonna find the arc length. S is gonna equal 18.2 times four pi over five. So again in the calculator, 18.2 times four pi. Divide that by five. You get 45.74 centimeters. Example two is a word problem. You find the distance between two cities. So, finding the distance between two cities gives the measure of a central angle of a vertex at the Earth's center, whose initial side goes through the equator and whose terminal side goes through the given location. Reno, Nevada is approximately due north of Los Angeles. So the latitude of Reno, Nevada is 40 degrees north. And that of Los Angeles is 34 degrees north. The north in 34 degrees means north of the equator. The radius of the Earth, and this number is never going to change, is 6,400 kilometers. Find the north-south south distance between the two cities. So we're looking for the north-south distance. Anytime you see the word distance, subtraction should come into mind. So I need to subtract those two degrees. So I'm going to say 40 degrees north minus 34 degrees north gives me a distance of 6 degrees north. From that, since that's a degree, I need to change it to radians. So 6 degrees 
times pi over 180 is going to give me pi over 30 radians. I then, in order to find because of the curvature of the Earth, need to use the arc length formula to find the actual distance. So S is going to equal the radius, which is 6400, times pi over 30. So 6400 times pi, and we're going to divide that by 30, and we should get 670 kilometers. Example three, we want to find a length using S equals R theta. So we have a rope being wound around the drum with a radius of 0.8725 feet. How much rope will be wound around the drum if the drum is rotated through an angle of 39.72 degrees? Okay, so two numbers. We have our radius and we have our angle. So theta, 39.72 degrees, needs to be changed. So we multiply that by pi over 180. So 39.72 times pi. And we're going to divide that by 180. And we get 0.6932. We'll go to four decimal places, since our radius is in four decimal places. So now I'm going to take that, S equals 0.8725, that's my radius, times 0.6932, and that is going to give me a length of 0.6048 feet. So 0.6, a little bit over a half of a foot of rope is wound around the drum through that angle of 39.72 degrees. Example four, we want to find an angle measure using S equals R theta. So this time we have two gears. And they're adjusted so that the smaller gear that has a 2.5 centimeter radius is driving the larger gear, which has a 4.8 centimeters radius. If the smaller gear rotates through an angle of 225 degrees, through how many radians will the larger gear rotate? Okay. So, in order to set this up, we're gonna first, of course, change our theta is 225. We're gonna change that to radians. So 225 times pi divided by 180 is 5 pi over 4. So for the small gear, so this is for the small gear, S is going to equal that 2.5 radius times 5 pi over 4. This will give me an answer
of 25 pi over 8. So the speed has to be the same or the teeth are gonna break on these gears. So we need to find the angle that the larger gear rotates through. We wanna know how many degrees will the larger gear rotate. So in order for this to work, the larger gear has to be rotating at this speed. So larger gear has to have the same speed. So we're gonna use that and we're going to find theta. We're, so we're gonna say 25 pi over eight is going to be equal to the radius of the larger gear, which is 4.8. And we need to find theta this time. So we're going to divide both sides by 4.8. 25 pi over eight divided by 4.8 is going to be, theta is gonna equal 125 pi over 192. We now need to convert that back to degrees. So I'm gonna multiply that by 180 over pi. Pi's are gonna cancel. 125 times 180 and divide that by 192, and it's gonna be about 117 degrees. So 4.8 can technically, say, you can say that that is also 24 over five. You wanna put that in fraction form, which will allow you to keep your fraction here, which will then allow you to easily convert two degrees. Last thing in this section is area of a sector. So area of a sector, the formula for that, fancy A equals one half R squared theta. And theta again is in radians. So we need to find the area of a sector shaped field. The, sh the sector shaped field has an angle of 15 degrees and a radius of 321 meters. So again, theta equals 15 degrees, R equals 331 meters. We need to convert 15 degrees to radians. Which is pi over 12. From there, we're just gonna plug everything in. So fancy A is gonna equal one half times my radius, which is 331 meters, and it's squared, and then that's gonna be times pi over 12. So what I would do in the calculator first, just to double check, is take 331 and square it. I'm then gonna divide that by two. And then we're going to multiply that by pi, and then divide that by 12. So let's do that again, just type it straight in. 331 squared times pi, technically divided by 24, and we should get 14,341.5 meters squared. Your homework is page 110, 111, 14 to 32.
even.